Yeah. Yeah. My name is Camilla. I'm Miss Earth Denmark. Uh, I'm 19 years old. My advocacy is about using uh, green energy instead of oil and coal, uh, who will be gone someday. Uh, in Denmark, we are very good at using the wind um, through wind turbines. Wind turbines create electricity um, through wind. So instead of using uh, things who will be gone someday, we can use things who already is delivered by nature. And we will never lose the wind, so therefore I think we should use the wind to create electricity. So this is your first time here in the Philippines? Yeah, so I, I have never been to the Philippines before. Before, but I have been very excited to be here and um, I think the Philippines is so sweet and so kind uh, they are so happy to see us all here in the Philippines so that's very excited to meet all of all of the support yeah. well hello everyone who is watching my name is Margarete de Jong and I am Miss Earth Netherlands I'm 21 years old and uh, I studied to become a higher educated nurse throughout the honors program of our school and uh, my advocacy is all about creating environmental awareness since our earth is our mother and whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons and daughters of the earth so uh, what's your message to the Filipinos uh, regarding the uh, regarding environmental advice yes well like the best gift we all can give to our earth is to show our respect towards her and personally I think like we should we don't show respect when we pollute her with plastics and all kind of pollution that we have in this earth that we have in our environment right now so we can all like prevent the earth from getting more polluted by using the five R's and I would and I want to like to encourage everybody to like reuse the five R's because they can save our mother earth what is that five R's? I want to say rethink, reuse, reduce uh, recycle and respect. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Teresa. I'm from Czech Republic. I'm a university student. I study economics and accounting and I would like to work as a teacher. And uh, my advocacy is about to focus on um, on uh, catching more uh, rainwater to build like green roofs for catching the rainwater so we can use it more for example for cleaning the streets or uh, for filling the swimming pool. Is this your first time here? Yeah, that's my first time in Philippines. So far, how did you find the Philippines? Uh, so far, it's my first day here and I'm so surprised first day <laughs> and I'm so surprised that uh, all the Filipinos are so kind to us that everyone wants to take a picture with us and they are so s always smiling <laughs> So far on your first day, have you tasted any food? Local Philippine food? So, uh, so far, I didn't try anything, okay. but no, I only had a breakfast. But I will, I will try uh, any uh, something soon. How about you? Uh, this is your first time here? No, this is my fourth day here already in the Philippines. No, the first time you got here. No. I don't. Yeah, the, my, this is my first time in the Philippines. First yes. Time in yes. The four days. And so yeah. Have you tasted any food? Sorry? Have you tasted any Philippines? Yes, I did like uh, the uh, ad adobo? adobo. Adobo, yes. I tried the adobo and it was very delicious. So that's, that's, uh, that's the only uh, one? Yes, like and rice and such. But uh, like the typical uh, Filipino food is adobo that I tried. Yes. <laughs> So what, you do, what is your first impression of the Philippines? Well, I have to say that I love the Philippines. Like I already have fallen like in love with the Philippines because like the people are like so supportive towards me, and I love the like the Filipinos for that so much. And like all uh, the Earth Warriors here, they are like uh, we are a real community, and that's what I admire so much here in the Philippines. I'd like to give this final question to Miss Denmark. Yeah, my sense. What can you say to the Filipino people about your uh, about uh, your advocacy and everything? About yeah, uh, I can say to the Filipino um, that in Denmark we uh, use uh, very much the wind. Forty-three percent of all uh, energy in Denmark is delivered by wind turbines. Uh, but we, if we look worldwide, uh, it is only one percent that is delivered by uh, wind turbines. So by using my uh, my advocacy, we can really make a huge difference. Um, if we can go up on such a higher percent uh, in more countries than just, just Denmark, uh, it will make a huge difference. Uh, can you please invite them to the uh, whole activity? What? Invite them to the whole activity, sir. Uh, For the whole competition. Can you invite, invite them? Uh, my, my country? No, no, here. Everybody can you invite everybody to the uh, Miss Earth competition? No! Watch? Okay. To watch. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> 
I would really like uh, to all of you to watch the, this competition. I'm so happy to be a part of it this year and I really hope to create the best experience so I hope that you will follow uh, all of our journeys. Well everybody you need to stay tuned and you can follow us all on social media. Follow at Miss Earth at social media so you can see all the activities that we are doing. Please keep supporting us on, because we like will do environmental events for the entire month of October until our coronation night at the 3rd of November. Make sure you will be at our coronation night. It will be spectacular. It will start at 7 p.m. so make sure you will be there. Do you have any uh, expectations so far? For like the Miss Earth? Yes, yes, well, yes I do have. I have like a feeling that this experience will be such a great thing that we can like create environmental awareness all over the world with all these beautiful Earth Warriors here together from all countries with all different kind of cultures and I think that is what makes us really strong and that is my expectation that we can like create environmental awareness all over the world throughout Miss Earth. So I hope uh, all of you will watch the uh, coronation night, uh, 3rd of November, and most of all, I uh, I hope you will all enjoy it the same as us. <laughs> okay, so what's your uh, any expectation? The expectation for the Miss Earth. For the Miss Earth, I expect that I will meet uh, the girls from all the countries, meet their culture, and also I will uh, educate more about their environmental problems. Okay, bye! Thank you.